A lot of great Quest announcements came out of Kinect yesterday, and while the Quest 3S stole the show for $299, by the way, on top of Batman Arkham Shadow and three months of Quest Plus, you can get $30 of Quest Cash if you use my link down in the description to pre-order. There were also a lot of other announcements that kind of got glossed over really quickly, so I'm going to go through everything awesome that was announced from new avatars, AI NPCs, which is going to be incredible, a brand new OS, which looks Looks way better and even a brand new game that I'm actually really excited for plus a whole lot more let's start off with something that's insane called Meta Horizon Hyperscape there is a demo link down in the description if you're in the US and it's exclusive to Quest 3 I actually can't even use this because apparently I'm not close enough to a data center but this is photorealistic scenes on the Quest 3 that were scanned in with a phone it looks incredible they're real scenes they're digital replicas, I should say, of real scenes, and it uses post-processing in the cloud to actually make this happen. It's actually using the Project Avalanche PC VR streaming technology that I've talked about before, and once I can get into this thing, it, it, it looks stunning. Like, these environments are one-to-one -one realistic environments that you can walk around in, and, and, and they seem to be 3D. I don't know. I wish that I could get into this. It looks fantastic. Like I said, link in the description if you want to check it out. It's called Meta Horizon Hyperscape. It's free, and there are a few scenes that you can use, uh, but you do have to be in the U.S. to do that. Also, Triangle Strategy. This was literally mentioned for a second by Square Enix is getting a VR port to Quest. Pre-orders are available now. Link in the description, and it looks amazing. Like a turn-based RPG from Square Enix in VR on Quest sounds amazing perfect and i can't wait to play this that was announced yesterday as well that was announced extremely quickly yesterday so a lot of people probably missed it there are a lot of other new apps and stuff that we'll talk about in just a minute but first let's talk about some of the updates coming to the actual software on the quest this brand new os that you're seeing looks amazing it looks like sort of what playstation offers on their playstation menu when you're in a game and you push the playstation button it kind of brings up a menu overlay it almost reminds me of the way that that pops into place. So I'm just going to keep this looping on screen. We'll talk about it here. When you're in VR or in your mixed reality and you hit the Oculus or Meta Quest button now, it's going to bring up a menu. Now, this is all like conceptual. I don't think this is actually really running on a Quest as of yet, and we don't know when it's coming. But what it does, it looks like you hit the button and there's a brand new style of menu. It's going to show a whole bunch of portals for Horizon Worlds, and then you can go over to your library, and there's all the settings and everything. I love, look at, pause this right here. I love the look of this menu. It gives like an opaque white overlay. You can slightly see the background through it, but it, it it's, I think, way more visually pleasing than the menu popping up in the way that it does currently. I'd have to see it for sure and see just how it works in VR, but this could be the UI menu system update we've been waiting for that hopefully runs much better one quick fun fact is that there's actually due to some optimizations to the os 10 percent more overhead for developers to use to make their games look and work even better so the quest 3 is already getting more powerful which is kind of crazy let's talk about avatars these new avatars are actually launching next week on October 1st, I believe, and I'm just going to show a whole bunch of footage of the new avatars and uh, what they look like and how they move. They've completely redesigned the skeletal structure of these avatars so they move more realistically. It's using the upper body tracking that, that the Quest 3 offers with the downward facing cameras to get like the shoulder estimations and then it has AI leg estimations as well to make it more realistic for movement. Overall, everything looks fantastic. Like, you can compare this to the old avatars, and it's insane how it looks. And there's even more updates coming, including AI generation, being able to actually tell Meta AI what you want your avatar to look like, which is what you're seeing here, and it actually gives you an outfit and makes you look like what you ask it to look like, which is insane. And one thing that I didn't think was announced is AI-generated designs on clothes. You can see that here as well. That looks fantastic, too. It seems to be that you can actually enter in, in the app what you want to be on a piece of clothing, and it'll actually do that for you, and you can design your own stuff, which is awesome. There's additional expressions. There's new ways to customize all your physical proportions, like completely fine-tuning them, everything from noses to eyes to body shape and everything in between, even including the movement and expressions of your avatar. 
The AI stuff is supposed to come next year to generate new stuff. And plus, in Horizon Worlds, Meta actually mentioned some fantastical avatars, which is what they call non-human life forms. You're seeing an image here of their fantastical avatars. And they also announced Captain America is coming to the quest as a playable avatar in Horizon Worlds, along with the movie A Brave New World next year coming to theaters. This will launch I think before the movie, so you'll be able to actually embody the character of that version of Captain America. Hopefully developers will be able to bring those fantastical meta avatars to Horizon Worlds and to other things as well using this new system. I can't wait to see where this goes. We've needed new avatars for a long time. We just barely got legs and now we get a brand new avatar setup. So I'll be going through in depth next week when I get access to it to show you how it functions and how good it really is. Kind of as a part of that, Meta Horizon Worlds is actually getting AI NPCs that you're going to be able to communicate with and ask questions and speak to. Meta is really going heavy into AI and their AI portion of the show is pretty darn impressive as well, but these AI NPCs are going to be insane. Let me show you a quick clip here. I'm going to let it play on screen of some people talking to these Meta AI avatars. Hey Finn, I'm Igorim and this is my friend Greg. Hey Igorim and Greg, nice to meet you. What brings you two to Bobo Bay today? We're here to catch some fish. Yeah, where should we start? Let's see if you want to reel in something real special. I'd suggest going after the 24K goldfish. Its scales are solid gold and it glows yellow from within. That sounds so cool. Thanks, Finn. See ya. That is awesome. And Meta specifically says whether it's a friendly fishing enthusiast or fantastically evil boss, you'll be able to customize NPCs using our avatar and voice tech, and it's all multiplayer ready. We also support world understanding and complex action chaining so NPCs can be a really rich part of the world you create. That means that you can create full games and levels that have NPCs that you can communicate with with your voice in Horizon Worlds. Sounds incredible. That could take Horizon Worlds and make it a place that I actually want to spend a lot more time in if this is something that really takes off. Hopefully this is something that they'll bring as like an API to creators of actual games on Quest so that they can use it as part of the Horizon OS and then we'll see even more of that in actual games. But for the time being having it in Worlds is going to be awesome. There isn't any specific release day except for it's supposed to be coming next year. One last thing about Horizon Worlds, the Dunder Mifflin office is actually coming to Horizon Worlds next month. I think it was like October 9th or 10th. I, I think it was the 10th that it is coming. They're having some sort of party. I saw it on uh, the list last night when I was looking at different Horizon Worlds. And it's opening up so you can go and play mini games and all that cool stuff at the Dunder, Blif at the Dunder Mifflin office. I don't know how it'll be. Some of the, the Horizon Worlds that they've launched have actually been really good, so hopefully this is a high-quality world as well. It could be fun to spend some time in. We also got some brand-new free apps for using on the Quest. Things like Amazon Prime now has an official application you can watch in mixed reality or in your whatever home environment you want to. It supports logging into your Prime account and watching stuff like Lord of the Rings, if you want to. So you can now get Amazon Prime Video, and it actually allows for downloading for offline viewing as well, which is great. Twitch is also on there as well, so you can watch your favorite Twitch streamers, which I don't generally do. Also for watching those movies, they actually announced that Dolby Atmos is now supported in VR, which I mentioned previously, and I'm very excited for. I wanted the 5.1 surround sound in VR because of the spatial audio, and now we actually get it. So Horizon OS now fully supports Dolby Atmos. So if you're watching something with surround sound, you should get a nice surroundscape sound for your movies, which is just going to be even better. Also, we're getting YouTube co-watching, which means that you can invite someone over to your Horizon home and hang out and watch YouTube together. So you're going to be able to put a giant screen and it'll support playing a YouTube video and both of you will see it as your meta avatars. That's what you're seeing in this image right here. The Quest is getting even better for work as well. It's announced. It was announced that it'll be able to extend Windows 11 laptop screens just by looking at at them. So you look at the keyboard and it'll automatically connect and pop up apparently. It sounds crazy and like the Apple Vision Pro in a lot of ways, but apparently without any kind of installation or any kind of setup, you're supposed to actually just be able to look at the keyboard and it'll activate, which sounds crazy to me and I can't wait to test it. And if that actually works, then it could be great for work. Hopefully it works on like desktop PCs eventually too, but it says that the last screen 
but the laptop screen is just supposed to turn off and you get a giant screen in front of you to use for work which is awesome for on the road. Another couple of games that were announced, not necessarily as part of Kinect, I don't think, but during that time, Home Sports is coming from Resolution Games. This is a mixed reality sports game that's supposed to be launching. I don't know when it's launching, actually. It just says coming soon. And there's a whole bunch of sports apparently you can play in mixed reality. I love mixed reality stuff, and I love Resolution Games, so I'm very excited to give that a shot. Also, an update for Moss and Moss Book 2. It's getting a visual update, which looks a lot better for the Quest 3 and the Quest 3S, so they've done a resolution upgrade, they've done updates to like the water and some other visual effects, and overall just looks fantastic. Supernatural is also getting an update. If you work out in Supernatural, you'll be able to do group-based updates with something called Supernatural Together, allowing you to actually work out with other people, which sounds really cool as well. One last thing I wanted to mention to you is something that's absolutely incredible, and that's called Orion. This is Meta's prototype AR glasses, and they look really really cool in fact i think i'm actually going to be able to try them when i head to new york next week and i'll give all of my thoughts after the fact but i am very excited to see these get better and better they're already in glasses form they're a little thicker than regular glasses i don't even know how to describe the technology except for the fact that it is completely see-through like glasses and it projects an image onto the actual glasses so you're seeing on screen right now some of the footage that they showed and it actually uses their brand new ultra realistic avatars it has quite a large field of view which is 70 degrees which is really good for glasses like this in comparison i've showed things on the channel before like the ray neos and the x-ray glasses i think the largest that those have been has been like 45 or 46 degrees. I can't remember the exact measurement. So that's darn impressive. It's not going to be available for public use as of yet. It is just a prototype. So it's just out there at the Meta headquarters and they're going to be using it as a prototype until it becomes to the point where they're going to actually be able to sell it. It does use a puck that connects to a cable apparently to do all of the processing because it's just glasses. But I can live with that if it's true AR glasses that actually do what they're supposed to do, you know, theoretically, looking at things, tracking things, playing games, giving you information. That all sounds incredible to me. And I can't wait to give these a test hopefully next week. And it's going to be amazing. Speaking of next week, I mentioned in my last video about Quest 3S, I'm headed to New York to try some games and the Quest 3S and I hope to be able to get you some awesome videos out of it with some really cool coverage. It sounds like I'm actually going to get some really good hands-on time, not just with the 3S, but with things like Batman, hopefully some other really good games. And I'll be able to bring those thoughts to you next week, probably, once I get back. I'm going on Tuesday, so I'll be in New York on Tuesday, and then I'll be back, and we'll be making some awesome content. So don't forget to subscribe for all of that content. All of the Quest 3 content moving forward, Quest 3S, I'm going to continue to cover all of it. And like I said, there's links in the description for the Quest 3S, the newly discounted Quest 3, also to check out the crazy realistic environments. There's a link down there for that too. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and happy questing.